Hey, Dr. Karen here with another edition of the Spiritual Medicine Digest. Welcome to my front yard. <laughs> it's actually a sunny day today, so I thought I'd take the opportunity to record this while I am earthing. Yes, I don't know if you can see my feet here, but yes, I'm in bare feet. <laughs> anyway, um, so while I'm earthing here, what do I want to tell you this week? Well, some of us are still struggling with boundaries. Um, I think that the those of us that are star seeds, especially star seeds that have been light beings um, in our other lives, definitely have the most trouble keeping healthy boundaries. Because think about it, when we're in our light being selves, there are no boundaries, right? We talked about that last time. There's no boundaries. So um, having healthy boundaries while incarnated into a three-dimensional human body challenging. Now, what was very interesting this week is that with someone that I tested, um, well, a couple of people, that um, it's like I asked if they had the, the actual morphic field of holding healthy boundaries despite ascension events, you know, expanding us. And I got yes. So that's, that's by the way, a new morphic field that's in Ascension 2 that I was permitted by Source to create and uh, infuse into Ascension to my healing tool. But anyway, so keeping healthy boundaries while we expand is a big deal. But in these two folks, they had the morphic field already, but when I ask um, whether they can do it, I get a no, and um, so so what do I ask after that? Well, it's the same thing I ask about does, does everybody have, or does this person have the regenerative uh, blueprint? The blueprint to actually regenerate from scratch all bodies, organs, glands, and cells, all the spiritual, mental, emotional, physical bodies to perfect health, that is a morphic field in and of itself. Again, that's an ascension too. So um, if you already have that regenerative morphic field, why are you not regenerating your body, right? So there's a couple of things that I asked for is all the subconscious minds and all timelines completely aligned with that reality. Um, is source aligned or is that reality aligned with source because it may or may not be? Um, why wouldn't it be? Well, you know, sometimes people have to have a quote unquote disability in this timeline in order to fulfill the soul's mission. So that's how you would know. Um, and then we ask, um, whether or not all your higher selves, um, your subconscious minds, higher selves, you know, are aligned with that reality as well. And of course aligned with source. So the last thing is, do you have enough raw materials to regenerate all bodies, organs, glands, and cells? You may have in this timeline, but not on any others. And that somehow can still hamper us. So, so uh, if it's another timeline, we can actually download those frequencies of whatever is needed. Now, in, when it comes to boundaries, interestingly, I got the answer that there was some sort of substance, so to speak, <laughs> that creates these uh, healthy uh, boundaries for us. Um, and that there are certain parts of us that actually are responsible for creating the raw materials, for lack of a better word, to have healthy boundaries. These include um, the third chakra for good emotional boundaries, the heart line, um, uh, and um, the aura. Um, I think I might have forgotten something. But anyway, but th they help to create these healthy boundaries. So the heart line, interestingly, um, and and the astral bot, the astral cord actually as well. Hi there. You want to be in the video, Mr. B? He's probably like, I need something. <laughs> Can we please give him whatever he needs? <laughs> yes, thank you so much. Okay, so... <laughs> Archangel Azrael, can you please give Mr. B what he needs? Okay, there we go. Okay, so anyway, as I was saying, where was I? Oh, yes, the heart line. The heart line um, in some folks needs to be expanded. Uh, when you ascend, um, this uh, can expand. Now, I don't know if you've ever heard of this anywhere else because I haven't. Uh, same thing with the astral cord, which I thought was very interesting. So the heart line, um, having creating the substance for some of these boundaries, um, seems to want to expand in certain timelines. And if you just command it to be expanded, um, then, you know, then you have the substance for the healthy boundaries. So we're hoping that the folks that are having difficulty holding healthy boundaries or having to restore them every single day, every morning, multiple times a day because of the ascension will have an easier time this week. So, okay. So the other thing is some of us are actually transmuting negative energies of mass consciousness and mother earth and helping mother earth and mass consciousness ascend. Um, and the way I'm doing it is helping mother earth and mass consciousness ground to the seventh plane. Now, um, interestingly, them, some of my, you know, lymphatic issues in my body is related to 
uh, other Mother Earths, not even in this timeline and alternate timelines, because apparently I have the same soul's mission in multiple timelines uh, to help the Earths, the various Earths ascend. So I had a lovely healing session with Yvonne Perry last week, and she clairvoyantly saw that the um, the light beings were uh, guides were putting in a tube from my solar plexus area out my mouth, and she says like your light language um, activated already. So are you are you using that? And I was like, no. <laughs> she goes, why not? I said, well, I didn't really think about it. <laughs> you know, I, I said, I didn't know that I was light language activated, but you know, it totally made sense that I was already, but she was kind of curious. She was like, oh, you didn't know that? I'm like, no, I just didn't ask, you know, I just didn't ask. So anyway, so I, I, I told her I had resistance to doing the light language, nothing personal. I was just like, I don't know. Uh, he goes, she says, it's kind of weird, isn't it? I was like, yeah, but I don't know if that's it. And she says, well, why don't you sing? And I'm like, oh. I love to sing. She goes, yeah. Have you been singing lately? I'm like, no. <laughs> and she says, well, what they're telling me is that you have everything you need. You don't need anything more. You have all the, you know, tools that you, you need. Um, so since you're helping mother earth and mass conscious transform negative emotions and energies, um, you need to sing it. So it, you know, that'll, you know, come out because it's, it's, it's represented in your body, come out here. And then she saw a bright light coming down here, meeting with that and creating a uh, beautiful, there's positive, you know, divine source codes here, the negative emotions coming up. And as they come out my mouth, it transforms into light and uh, which is very, very cool. So there are some of you that are doing that kind of work. It's, it's unusual, but, um, uh, it can be very uncomfortable because if you do not know that you are transforming and transmuting these energies and you feel them, you think they're yours. So you can get very angry or belligerent or, you know, sad or depressed or feel like you're being attacked and it's not even you. So that's the tough thing. Um, even if you have really super, super healthy boundaries, if you are one of those that is supposed to transmute the energies, it still can feel it through your body. So this week we were working on creating a new morphic field, which, uh, as of, 24 hours ago, uh, well, almost 24 hours ago, uh, we were now having the ability to make. So the new morphic field that's infused into Ascension 2, by the way, um, is for those of us that have to transmute these energies that we no longer have to feel in our physical bodies or mental bodies uh, the ails of whoever it is we're you know, transmuting for, in this case, Mother Earth or Mass Consciousness. And uh, so again, we're, we're hoping this will set in. And so those of us that are so sensitive won't have to have, you know, keep going and going and going, feeling other people's stuff, especially if that's a role. Now, if it's not your role and it's not your job, you can easily test this with divine muscle testing. Is this my soul's mission to do X, Y, Z, right? Uh, but we teach you how to do that in package B in my upcoming um, uh, package that's launching um, Tuesday, next Tuesday, May 2nd, uh, then, then you know, you just have to have healthy boundaries. So it's not your job. Just, you know, keep, keep restoring those healthy boundaries and healing whatever's underlying, preventing you from keeping healthy boundaries. So healthy boundaries is a huge, huge topic still. Now, the second thing I want you to know is that with the latest ascensions, um, some of you may have been feeling like, oh my gosh, I'm being attacked by more entities, something like that. Again, mostly it's not your stuff, especially if it's my students, it's not your stuff, but you're feeling mass consciousness. What's going on is remember with each ascension level, there's a certain like a uh, tipping point. It gets to a certain point that so much light and information is coming through that anything that does not resonate with that level of light is going to come out of the woodwork. Okay, so that means entities, darkness of the dark, you know, they're going to come out of the woodwork and they're going to play the little games uh, and basically, in my mind, calling to be healed. So, so we can send healing to all of them. So if you, that is called ascension resistance. Okay, so not every ascension event has that amount of resistance, but you will periodically feel it. So with certain ascension events, you'll feel your boundaries thin and you have to restore them. Okay, this is maintenance here. You do brush your hair, hopefully, uh, you know, brush your teeth, you know, shower. So this is maintenance. Maintenance, just maintenance, okay? Ascension maintenance. So um, you'll have that, right? So the boundaries you'll have to restore. The other thing that happens is ascension resistance. So when that happens, those of us that are alert to it will help the world heal that very, very quickly, okay? So we don't, everybody else doesn't have to deal with all the, you know, supposed attacks and everything like that. Um, so it's not a big deal. The, the, the total number of entities has diminished greatly, uh, even though it seems like we're still getting attacked, okay? <laughs> but it's just ascension resistance. That's all it is. So just see if you can put that into 
that context. Now, the third thing I want to tell you about to, uh, today is um, this is very important. Um, it's about discernment. Okay, I think I mentioned it before, but when you are connected to the divine and grounded to the seventh plane, which a lot of people aren't, but that's part of my job is ground the earth to the seventh plane and all of its you know beings in it. Um, but you have to do your own work too. When you ground to the seventh plane and you're totally connected to the one and only true source then you won't be led off by what we call leading energies. Okay, so those are the ones that lead you astray. Now, even really clairvoyant, amazingly gifted healers can be led astray. For example, you know, I've had a couple of uh, instances where a, a healer um, has, uh, or a very clairvoyant person that isn't a healer, a professional healer, uh, has read me, uh, sometimes with permission, sometimes with not, but read me and say, oh, you have an entity, you know? And I, I think to myself, well, that's interesting. <laughs> you know, being a light score of 99 or 100, that's pretty rare. But I thought, you know, I'm going to be open to the possibility, okay? So I asked my, you know, highlight score friends, you know, you know who they are, Tamara, Diana, Jenny, um, and I said, look, I want you to look at this objectively, okay? So I'm open to being wrong. I'm open. I'm not getting that it's my entity, but... Um, I'm open to possibly being wrong. So if you could scan the situation, let me know. Uh, I'd really greatly appreciate it. And um, a lot of times what happens, and of course these three don't know what each uh, each other are saying to me, but uh, this happened just this week. So all three said it's not your entity, it's her entity. So the person that was reading me. Um, and uh, the thing is, is that why, why would Source give me these, right? Like, why? Well, I figured it out. <laughs> One is that Source wants me to trust myself. And it's not to say I don't trust myself by asking others for help. I'm just making sure that um, I'm being open to the possibility that I'm being wrong. I'm staying humble. Okay, I think that high-level healers need to stay humble. Okay, so then I'm asking for help and I'm saying, hey, can you please check this? I want to make sure, you know, that this isn't my stuff before, you know, I could be jaded. I could be biased, you know, in my muscle testing. Um, sometimes when things are, you know, really sensitive, uh, it can, you know, muscle testing down 100%, even divine muscle testing down 100%. So, so that's not reason number one is the divine testing me to see if I will trust my instincts and trust my connection to source. The second reason that this can happen, this can happen to some of you as well, is that we have an assignment and role to help the other person. Sometimes this is not a pleasant thing to do. Can you imagine? Like here I am, I'm like, okay, so source tells me, okay, you got to tell this person that they read wrong. And I'm like, okay, really? <laughs> do I really have to tell them? You know, and Source like, yep. And I'm like, well, you know, and I understand why Source gives me those assignments. It's because Source trusts that I can say it with love and gentleness and openness. And really, because Source loves that other person so much, you know, wants them to succeed, especially if they're a professional healer, wants them to succeed, wants them to get to the next level. Okay, so this is a test for those of you uh, that are um, professional healers. You will come about this test at some point that someone is going to seemingly knock you off your <laughs> off off your you know pedestal or rocker or whatever you, uh, the saying goes. Okay, and your job, I'm telling you now, so you know how to, what to expect. Your job is to remain open, connected, divine, and not be defensive. Okay, it, I can't tell you how many healers where you think, oh, they're, you know, high vibrational healer and they can do this and that and, you know, you know, amazing miracles and everything like that. But yet, if someone questions them and say, hey, you know, I think this was wrong. This doesn't resonate. They get all defensive and, you know, angry and, and, and that is, you know, that lack of that ascension, you know, that next step. Okay, so, um, and, and, you know. I mean, there are some very, very famous people, which unfortunately they're just, I can't, I, they're not there yet. I mean, it's so silly, like in some ways, because I'm like, oh my gosh, you're so famous and you have so many thousands and thousands of people following you and they don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear that potentially there's something interfering with either their stuff, their company, you know, whatever, um, you know, and, and, and unless it's my assignment, I, you know, I'm, I don't, you know, I don't tell them, you know, but if somebody that I am counseling, coaching and doing sessions with ask about them or their 
thinking of seeing them or they've seen them or they're getting this feedback from them, I tell them the truth of what source says, you know, and, and sometimes that's not, you know, good news. I'm like, sorry, that person was wrong. I don't think you should tell them they're wrong because <laughs> I don't think they're going to be open to it. But just so you know that they're wrong. Okay. And this is what I'm getting from source. Um, so you feel yourself what's most resonating with you and what works, you know, what really works. So the discernment piece is really huge. Um, and that's one of the reasons why in my Light Warrior Advanced Healing Program, we do a lot of foundational work on that. Um, because it is uh, any entity and entity, you know, tax now are, are, can be very sneaky, very sneaky. Um, they will try to discredit you the higher you go. Um, you'll always get, uh, you know, some challenge like that. The, the higher level you go, the more, you know, famous, popular, whatever you are, especially if you're in the light, there will be more resistance whether or not, you know, you have a high light score. So in fact, if you even have a higher light score, you may get more resistance because they don't, you know, they're, they're still in the dark, some of those entities, of course. So they're going to try to um, prevent you from uh, ascending further uh, in popularity. So they will find some way of trying to discredit you. Um, and sometimes it can be really sneaky and sometimes they do it even through your own friends and family, which is really sucky, but you know, it is what it is. So you've been warned. <laughs> so the discernment piece is really important. Um, in, uh, my light warrior advanced, uh, healing program, we have eight live, live modules. Okay. So if you're thinking about it, uh, you know, get it, uh, as soon as the card opens on Sunday, I believe Sunday morning. Uh, because I know how they, you know, do things is, is they, they put at really huge discounts and the first, I think hundred people, uh, after that, then the price goes up. So, um, and last time, you know, I think I sold, I don't know, 400 or something in a week. So anyway, so, so just get it <laughs> if it resonates with you. So we're going to do eight modules. Okay. Together. And, uh, my, my light wars have asked for interactive things and I know it's a, a ton of work. Um, and I asked Source about it. Source said, yeah, do it. So I'm like, okay. So we're doing eight interactive modules, okay? And uh, you'll see that on my web uh, page with, with the package. Um, so package A, you're going to have those eight modules <laughs> where we're going to connect together. You're going to get um, didactic teaching, of course, so you can understand what's going on. Because some of you really want to understand what's, what, what I'm doing and not just, okay, I can just heal this, right? They want to know why, why, why are we looking at that? You know, how do you know that's boundary issue? You know, that kind of thing. So we're going to do very foundational healing, especially for those of you that are sensitives, the earth angels, the, you know, the empaths, the, the hybrids, the walk-ins, the indigos, um, and so that we can step by step by step do healing up, 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 foundational, you know, till we get to the ascension module, which is number eight. We can clear all your blueprints, um, you know, get rid of any interference from all, uh, all your lives, um, restore your boundaries, um, you know, make sure you're connecting with source or soul's mission. We'll show you how to do that. Uh, so that's going to be really super fun. And in package B, my Topican level one training, um, we're going to have four modules. Now these are recorded which teaches you uh, how to do the Topican healing step-by-step, step, how to take away negative energies, how to add positive energies, how to figure out what source wants you to know. There's going to be a healing guide that is associated with each of the modules. Um, and uh, those of you already in the Light Warrior Package B group in my Facebook page already have uh, one of them uh, as a freebie. Um, so the daily wellness checkup guide. So that, that is one of the freebies that you've already had. So there are going to be two more, uh, guides coming out, uh, with that. So if you are, uh, really into doing your own stuff, I really love it when you are, cause it totally makes you empowered. Okay. Uh, to do your own healing, direct your own healing, then definitely, uh, get package B, um, and then package C is going to be with a one-on-one -on -one session with me. I actually, initially I was not going to do a package C. I was not going to offer one-on-one -on -one session because I'm just so back, packed and busy. So I asked Source about it. Source said, nope, don't do it. <laughs> but then I asked a little bit more question. I said, look, you know, Aaron really wants me to offer a package C one-on-one uh, -on -one sessions. Is there a way where it's for everyone's highest and good that I do offer it? And I get a yes. And, and I said, well, what do I need to do to do that? And Source like, take more time off. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so I did that. Okay, it's a little hard to schedule in, but I was trying to schedule in, you know, that. And so now we're good. So now I can offer the package C. And then there is going to be, um, if you, uh, you know, some of you already are in my group, so you get the special VIP uh, rate uh, to go into my VIP Light Warrior program, which is the advanced program where you actually get um, evaluation assessment cheat sheets in PDF that you can fill out. You can fill out for your clients, you know, that kind of thing. And um, so, and those, believe it or not, the, the guides, both in the package B and um, the Light Warrior uh, VIP uh, coaching group, um, as time goes on, as things evolve, guess what? Those guides will also, the downloadable guides will also be updated for you as well. Um, yeah, some people think I'm crazy. I'm like, there's so much stuff. Actually, it's so funny because from Party of Joy, the, the team is now putting uh, together my download page and they wrote back and they're like, this package is huge. <laughs> they're like, I'm making them work really hard. <laughs> so I, I'm not apologizing for that. I love to give lots of stuff away. And it's, speaking of stuff away, for the bonus, okay, so this is for um, folks listening to the live call next Tuesday and May 2nd within the 12 hours. If you listen to the replay, this is still good for you too. If you're in you know, some other place where you're in the middle of the night and you can't hear it live, um, I'm going to give up two gifts. Now, one of them is my clearing protection spray. Okay, if you don't already have that, you definitely want to be in the live call to get that. The second one is the newly revamped final version of the Addictions Be Gone. It's called the Addictions Be Gone Elixir. Uh, there's also going to be a Divine Muscle Testing Elixir. There's also going to be a pain erasure and a mood miracle elixir. Okay, but the addictions be gone elixir is part of package B. I am giving that away the first 12 hours and on the weekend for the replay uh, next week. So definitely um, you want to get that. Uh, we're really encouraged. Oh, wait, did I say that wrong? I think I said that wrong. I think you have to be on the live call to get that one. Sorry, sorry. Erase, erase. Um, yes. Okay. So that was an extra bonus to reward people who are there on the live call, the Addictions Be Gone Elixir. Of course, if you get my package B, you'll get that anyway, right? But um, the clearing protection spray uh, link will uh, still be alive on the weekend, but the Addictions Be Gone Elixir will not. So we're really trying to uh, um, award, reward, yeah, reward people that are coming on live because we get so much energy and so much transformation occurs during the live call. May 2nd, 11 a.m., be there or be square. <laughs> you can be square if you want. Um, and uh, so you can get uh, that bonus. And, okay, I just announced it to the From Heart to Joy people, so I don't even know if they opened their email yet to tell them. Okay, but my intention, I got a source about this, and source said yes, so I'm actually going to give away one free healing session as well as part of you being live on the call Tuesday. I love your energy there. I'd really love you there. Thank you so much in advance for that. Um, it's going to be picked randomly. Okay. So this is only going to be for the highest good. So by being there live, you have that chance to win that one one-on-one -on -one session. So if you get package C, guess what? You get two sessions, right? You get the one with package C, then you get an extra session. And, and uh, some people ask, well, in package C, I I, I don't need the session, but my daughter needs the session. Is okay if I do the package, but my daughter gets the session? Absolutely. Okay, somebody says, well, I want you to check me and my daughter for entities and my son and my dog and my house. Can you do that in 25 minutes all in one session? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> yes. So you name what you want to do in that 25-minute sessions. Um, I go pretty fast, but... Um, Amazingly, I know some people take weeks and weeks to clear a house. Okay, it, it doesn't have to happen. Um, at least not the way I do it with the Topican healing. So if you want to, you know, check multiple people, we can't. We just can't go deep. So, you know, at the end of 25 minutes, as you say, oh, what's my soul's mission? I'm like, you know, we just cleared, you know, six people in your family. Sorry, we ran out of time. So... Anyway, so I'm really excited to share this package with you next week. You've got a sneak peek of what's in it and one of the bonuses, a major bonus I decided to gift uh, is the Holistic Health Transformation Program. This is a 12-module class program, okay, that is $597 value. Um, I know many of you uh, might have already seen this or part of it already, but that is going to be a, a bonus. You're going to have online access to that bonus, even with package A. And the other bonus we're giving you is the Facebook uh, group. My Light Warrior group is so awesome. You guys are so awesome. I love you. Yay! Um, they do such great healing work as a group. It's amazing. It's amazing. So even the package A people are going to have access 
to the Light Warrior Support Group. Yes, Facebook group online. And I haven't even told Jennifer this yet, my assistant, but <laughs> those of you that have bought my entity package A, okay, that couldn't afford or whatever, you know, package B, if you want, I'm gonna allow you in the private Facebook group as well. It's not even on, you know, the package page. I'm gonna have, uh, you know, the From Heart to Joy team change all that stuff again. But anyway, but um, you're gonna be invited as well, okay? So, lots of fun, lots of stuff going on. Uh, before the big call on Tuesday though, Monday afternoon, 3 p.m., I am gonna be with my esteemed colleague, Dr. Dennis Loebstein, talking about the LifeWave patches and how they can help support you. I know I, through all this ascension, have been using them definitely uh, daily. It's been really, really helpful. Sometimes people have whole body pain, you know, because they're feeling like mass consciousness or stuff healing, not fun, okay, so definitely, ice wave, uh, you know, for that. Um, these, uh, some people go into stress response whenever there's that ascension resistance. You know, we had a whole bunch of people whose brain balance was off this week after being balanced for, for months and months and months. So that's a quick fix. Um, but it's really great to have these, the uh, Eon patches as, as that backup um, to hold, you know, hold that energy so that you're nice and calm and not freaking out. <laughs> so there's lots of great things. Um, so uh, you're going to be uh, given an email if you're on my mailing list about the topic we're going to be doing for Monday. If you have something you really, really want to know about the LifeWave patches or any other product, you can go ahead and use the contact page at patchtrainingteam.com and email me, and we'll be sure to cover that on the call. You know, like, how do you patch for whatever, you know, like sneezing, or how do you patch for diarrhea, or how do you patch for ankle swelling, or something like that. We're not sleeping, you know, put all your questions there and we will answer that on the call on Monday. Uh, and if you missed Kathy Homeyer's call on nutritional energetics, you definitely have to listen to it. It was so awesome. Um, so uh, that was this uh, that was this week on Monday. So you will have a chance to listen to it again on the weekend. And if you haven't gotten her package and nutrition, you're really, you know, if you're ready to be truly nourished and go above and beyond just eating well and just eating good food or you have digestive issues or you have issues with what do I eat, how do I know, you know, um, maybe you eating too much, maybe you're too hungry, whatever, then that's the program for you. She goes into the nitty gritty of how how to be truly nourished, how to nourish all those little guys inside you, all that microbiome. So check out Kathy's program. We're going to put the link below in the YouTube page so you can click right on her program and check it out. I highly recommend it. Okay, guys, that was a ton, <laughs> about four times long, longer than I expected. But anyway, um, you guys are so good about it. Uh, I love you all. I look forward to speaking with you either Monday on the LifeWave call or Tuesday uh, on the live call. It's going to be a blast. Uh, see you then. Bye now.